Lancers, good morning. I'm Eli. And I'm Jack. And today is Friday, September 20th. It is also a yellow day. If your birthday is in September, you share it with Zendaya and Patrick Mahomes. Zendaya is a very well-known actor. And if you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you would not know who Patrick Mahomes is. Patrick Mahomes is a star quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. He has also won three Super Bowl titles. Wait, why are you here again, Eli? Jack, we went over this. I'm only here so I don't get fired. Oh, yeah! Okay, guys, on with the show. Hey, Lancers. Today I'm here with Coach A and Coach Lindsay. Today I'll be interviewing them both. Okay, so, Coach A, how has your season gone? Well, girls' tennis has been really fun. Um, the season's gone great, I think. It's the girls have worked really hard. Um, we have a four and one record so far, and we have a match tomorrow um, versus Weber, and then we have the district tournament coming up on October 1st. Okay. And uh, Coach Lindsay, why did you pick to coach tennis? That is a great question. Well, if you ask any of the girls or the boys on the tennis team, I'm not very good at tennis. But I wanted to give back to Lincoln because I've gotten to sub here before and I think it's just such an awesome community. And so I just wanted to be a part of it. What about you, Coach A? Well, and, I, and I will tell you that Coach Lindsay has fit like a glove. Like, so when the girls are talking about random things that I have no idea what they're talking about, she always knows. But yeah, the reason I got into it is because I, I played tennis, varsity tennis in, in high school, and um, I played throughout my whole life, and um, yeah, I love it. Any shout outs on, for any uh, person on the team? Well, I mean, honestly, like, all the girls have done so great. Um, the players of the match from the last match were uh, the Julias. Uh, we have two Julias that are, that are uh, teammates, and we also recognized um, Poppy and Evie from the last match. What about you, Coach Lindsay? Um, I would say just all the JV girls. I've been really, really proud of them. They've made so much progress um, and improvement. It's been really, really fun to watch them keep trying and just keep going. All right, that's been the interview, and on with the show. Hey, Lincoln Lancers, you are back to Mindful Me with Miss Sarah. So, Miss Sarah, what's one way to release stress? Uh, one way to release stress is through different kinds of breathing exercises. Um, for example, I have this mindful maze that some students here at Lincoln made in Miss Hansen's pottery class. And this is something you can trace and breathe in and out with your finger. And it's just a tool to practice a breathing technique. Um, yeah, but that's one tool to use if you have something like that at school. Oh, okay. So how about outside of school. Yeah, outside of school, say I don't have one of these mazes from Mrs. Hansen's class, or say I do, any kind of breathing exercise can really help. I also really love to exercise, like going on long runs, being out in nature, um, rock climbing, things like that just make me feel like my stress goes down when I get to move my body. Oh, okay. So you heard the Lancers. Follow these steps and you'll be free! Lead the Lancer way!
answers. These are 10 reasons to put your honey and fruit in the share bin. Number 10, if you leave fruit on the floor in the cafeteria, someone could slip and get hurt. Number nine, if people get hungry and need a snack and there's nothing in the share bin, they will starve. Number eight, did you know almost 530,000 tons of food are wasted in school every year? Number seven, if you don't put food in the share bin, the share bin monster will get angry and come for you. Number eight. Number six, the fruit would be sad if you throw it away uneaten. It has a family. Number five, if you don't put the fruit in the share bin, that's basically bullying. Number four, the fruit will gang up on you. Number three, they will rot in the trash and become homesick. Number two, what if you throw away a mother apple? Like, how will you live with that guilt? Number one, your the next seven generations of your family will be cursed by the fruit. Three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Jack and I'm here with Zariah. What's the new student store special? Next week's student store special is pumpkin flavored cake bites. They're little cake bites you can buy from the student store for $2. Well, if you guys heard it from her, make sure to go check them out at the student store next week. Bye, Lancers. What's up, Lancers? In this segment of KLIN, I'm going to... Come on, get off your phone. That's enough. I can tell. Actually, this is a great example of how not to act in the bathroom. Other things, other than using your phone, include making a mess, giving our floor water damage, and general shenanigans. So get out! And that, Lincoln Lancers, is. Hey guys, I'm Sophie, and I'm here with Yadi and Jackie. And today's question is Hot Cheetos or Takis? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Jen Carlos and Freddie. And the question is Hot Cheetos or Takis? Oh, Hot Cheetos. Takis. Okay. I'm here with Alexa and Elsie. And your question is Hot Cheetos or Takis? Takis. Hot Cheetos. I'm here with Miss Newman. And your question is Hot Cheetos or Takis? Oh, Hot Cheetos. Those are like back in my day. Takis didn't even exist like five years ago. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Desmond and Apolino. And the question is hot or cold weather? Uh, cool. I love hot. Hey Lancers, I'm Griffin, and remember to restart your laptops this week. On with the show! Hey Lancers, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Well, I just got told I'm fired. Dang Bye guys. guys. This sucks. Have a good day. Make sure to leave the Lancer way.